One, take a shower. You don't want to smell. Two, pick out an outfit that will fit in with the latest trends and won't make you the laughing stock of the school more than you already are. Three, put on some makeup so you can actually show your face in public and be a little bit pretty. You can't even recognize yourself and your face tingles with an unbelievable itch you can't satisfy, otherwise you will have ruined the hours of meticulous painting you apply to your hideous face. Four, don't forget to style your hair in elegant curls. You can't let everyone at school see how your hair frizzes up like an electrocuted monkey, naturally. Five, shove your fat feet into those toe-pinching, blood-blistering converse that everyone at school is wearing, and you cannot be the odd one out. As you gaze into the bathroom mirror, you see a stranger that somehow stole your reflection and replaced it with a completely different girl. Every part of your outfit is uncomfortable, but even though you spend hours trying to look pretty, you will never be as good as those other girls at school. You are actually holding back a few tears, but you feel like you are holding back a tsunami of emotion. You can't let anyone else know that you feel, otherwise they will never respect you the same way they used to. Or did they ever? Why am I not good enough? Beauty is pain. Six, get off the bus. Seven, find a group of people you can walk to class with because heaven knows you can't just walk alone. But you don't even like these people. They cuss and they make dirty jokes a lot and they laugh and make fun of you. You know you shouldn't hang out with them. But hey, they are the popular kids and you just want people to like you like they like them. You are in the stocks as people throw judging tomatoes and hating heads of lettuce at your insecure little head. You cannot stand up for yourself because you are alone, trapped, and defenseless. And you cannot stand up for yourself because these popular kids are like the royalty of the school and apparently what they say and do goes. You take each comment, each judgment, each assumption, each opinion, each strange look, each remark, each criticism, each review, each report, each assessment, and with it, your self-esteem plummets like a sinking ship. Down, down, down into the dark and dreary depths below. You look at all of the other girls, your mind racing a mile a minute. I wish I had her eyes. I wish I had her hair. I wish I was as skinny as her. I wish I had her perfectly straight white teeth. I wish that I had her social confidence. I wish as many boys liked me as they liked her. Why am I not good enough? Life isn't fair. Eight, get your work done. The only part of your life that seems solvable is the actual schoolwork. You take pride in your work because it is possibly the only thing special about you. You do it to see the radiant smiles on your teachers' faces as they applaud your work. The joyful praise is the gentle rain that brings forth a magnificent rainbow. The radiant sunshine that brings forth fields of sweet daisies. One of the only things that brings you happiness. But it is not popular to be smart. In fact, you are seen as a nerd, too smart, human calculator, brainiac, geek, teacher's pet, suck up, whatever wonderful name you can think of. Your peers' jealousy is the pollution that prevents a rainbow, the bulldozer that plows through the fields of once golden daisies, the intangible object that crushes your happiness like a bug. A's are getting you nothing but torment. Why am I not good enough? Just get over it. Nine, it's the end of the day, get ready for bed. 10, undress, get your pajamas on. Wow, did I get fatter today? 11, undo your hair. Wow, my hair looks like a mop. 12, wash off all of your makeup. can't even look at myself. This is my life every day. I can't control it. I've been told I can't compare apples and oranges. I've been told I'm distorted. I've been told I have to be grateful for who I am. But going through your middle school years, you are on your own journey to find yourself on a small jet. And sometimes you cannot control what happens to you. The turbulence will throw you off course. But popular isn't always a good thing. 
you tell yourself, I just want people to like me. I just want to be accepted. But skipping meals and marking up your wrist isn't going to fix that. You look at other girls wishing you were them, but other girls are looking at you wishing they were you. Society infers girls have to have skinny waists, tan skin, long silky hair, perfectly straight teeth, big butts, and etc. Society infers girls have to wear tons of makeup to be pretty. Society infers girls have to wear skanky clothing and do inappropriate things with boys to be happy and considered cool. But society is wrong. You are loved, you are precious, you are beautiful, you are talented, you are capable, you are deserving of respect, you can eat that meal, you are one in seven billion. And most of all, you are good enough.